It's only a month since Ivy Wairimu, a Moi University medical student, was killed in broad daylight, allegedly by lover Naftal Kinuthia. Ivy is one of the more than 40 women killed in the past five months in the country, and now women legislators under the auspices of Empress, a women group umbrella, are saying enough is enough. 40 women is such a huge number. If it was a national disaster, by now we would have had the president speak about it. We've had the CS interior, which is really the national security speak mm. about it. Tunaangazia na kuzungumzia kwa niaba ya Carol Mwatha, ambaye aliweza kuwawa kwa njia tatanishi sana. Tunazungumzia pia dada etu Sharon Otieno, ambaye alikuwa mja mzito na kuweza kuuawa kupoteza uhai wake na pia uhai wa kiumbe kilichokuwa ndani In most cases the perpetrators have ended up walking scot free with the courts citing lack of evidence but gender chief administrative secretary Rachel Shebesh expressed her disappointment in the government's inability to implement rules to curb gender based violence we have been at pains to ask the police to return the gender desks that were put in place immediately after the Sexual Offences Act was passed. Today, if you go to a gender desk in the police, that is where the drunkard police, who is being punished, is sitting. We want our courts to, spread, uh, to set special courts so that these matters can be heard within the mm -hmm. shortest time possible. Why should a matter like this take years in court? The group is now calling on relevant investigative agencies to speed up investigations in the ongoing cases. Tunasema lazima sheria zetu tuziangalie na iwapo zina udhaifu tuweze kupiga msasa na tutengeze sheria zengine na pia tuweze kuleta mabadiliko ya sheria zile tulizonazo. Kina mama tumechoka na mauaji ya kiolela. On Thursday, the women will be holding a vigil night at the University of Nairobi in remembrance of the fallen women. Victor Wanaswa, Switch TV.